Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Mrs. Smith 88. So today I have a Aldi Huntington Home candle haul for you guys. These candles were released today at my local Aldi. I was fortunate and I was able to grab these last night. Glad I did so. My store only had two crates in. They were already picked over. 40% of them were gone. They probably would have lasted until this morning. But this evening, like after my husband gets off work, if I would have went to get them, I would have probably been essentially SOL on these candles. And if I'm being transparent with you guys, once I saw these in the ad, I thought, wow, this is going to be the collection this year. These are going to be the new standouts and that kind of stuff. Some different and unique scents that we haven't seen from Aldi. So I was really happy to see these and I knew I had to get my hands on them. So enough talk and rambling. Let's actually go ahead and get into these candles. So with every Aldi candle collection, there are four new fragrances. I actually think that one is a re-promote. I will talk about that in a little bit. They were priced at $4.49. These are Soy Blend 3 Wick Candles. They are comparable to Bath and Body Works and they are at a fraction of the cost. So let's go ahead and check these scents out. At the end of the video, I will rate them number one through four of what my favorite to least favorite are, but for now, we are not going in any particular order. So the first one I have here is Bally Surf. Very nice cornflower baby blue color. Let's go ahead and take a look at the wicks, see if they are evenly spaced. I did not pop the tops on any of these to check their wicks before checking out. So nice thick three wicks. And it looks like they're relatively evenly spaced. So let me go ahead and sniff this, let you guys know what my personal interpretation of this is. So there were no notes listed on the bottom of these. I wish that Aldi would return to putting the notes on the bottom of these, but they do not. So this is a very creamy, and I mean creamy, coconut scent, which considering the name Valley Surf, I definitely expected a coconutty fragrance. I would have liked to have seen a little more dimension in that fragrance. Throw in some mango, throw in some pineapple, make it a little bit of a tropical escape. It is a straight creamy coconut. If you are a fan of coconut, definitely check that one out. So the next one up in the queue is going to be Strawberry Shortcake. It is red in color. Very vibrant red, almost like a strawberry or a cherry red. A little bit fruit punchy looking in color. Definitely super cute artwork on the jar. You have a stack of shortcake with it looks like whipped cream and then some strawberries. So let's go ahead and check the wicks out on this one. Once again, nice thick wicks. But those ones are definitely not centered. I should have checked them before buying. So when I smell this, I definitely don't really get any whipped cream, even though I see whipped cream in the artwork. I do get the strawberry and I do get the angel food cake. I feel like I get more of a pound cake smell, if that makes sense. So I feel like I get a blend of like 50% pound cake, 50% strawberries. The strawberries are not quite an authentic traditional strawberry. It's more of a sweetened, almost generic strawberry. It does smell like a Bath and Body Works candle from the past. The Market Collection, when it first came out, I think they had like a berry bramble. They had a strawberry one. And it reminds me of that strawberry one. It does not quite remind me of the strawberry one that gets the most attention anymore. Sorry, the name is eluding me. It's been a while since I've really bought Bath and Body Works candles. Speaking of Bath and Body Works candles, I know I'm getting a little sidetracked here. I did order some during the semi-annual sale. I am very late to getting that video up. They came in last week during my birthday, and I just have not found the time to film those. So next up is Cherry Limeade Fizz. And out of all these, I love the color of this. I love this green color. I kind of feel like it's getting washed out on camera. It is a very vibrant lime green. The artwork on there, we got some cherries, we got some limes in the background, and it looks like a glass of limeade. So once again, let's go ahead and check those wicks out on this candle. 
So those ones, uh, yeah, those ones are off center. This is why you should always open your Aldi candles, <laughs> check your wicks. I need to work on taking my own advice. I always fail at taking my own advice. Let me go ahead and take a sniff this one. That way I can tell you guys what I think. So I definitely get lime. And I hate to say it, I wasn't getting this in stores, but I get almost like a dirty sock smell. Like if you have been out hiking all day and your socks have gotten saturated in sweat, I feel like I'm getting a little bit of that undertone in this candle. And maybe that's supposed to be the cherry. I was not smelling that in store. I did smell these, not all of them, in store. And I wasn't getting that note. But now I'm getting almost like a sweaty, stenchy undertone to the cherry limeade. And I'm really hoping that that goes away when I burn it. So last but not least in this collection is the purple one. I love purple, but I love the green on that cherry limeade. This is sea salt and lavender, and I really feel like we've had this candle before. Maybe it's because of Albie cranks out lavender candles like it is nobody's business. So I don't know if this is a re-promote. Very well could be. There has been so many lavender candles with Albie, and I'm just so burnt out on the lavender candles. So this is a very authentic, true lavender smell. There is no like honey, gelato lavender, like Yankee Candle, which I love. Just true, authentic lavender. Not necessarily against it, not necessarily for it. So let's go ahead and rate these. Number four through one. So my least favorite in the collection and I'm hoping that changes because originally it was not my least favorite because I picked up two of them because in store I thought it smelled really good. Least favorite is the cherry limeade fizz. I don't know why I'm getting that stenchy sweaty sock smell now that I'm home. In store I got a pretty authentic limeade smell. It smelled good enough that I put two in my cart. My number three um, scent is going to be the sea salt and lavender. Like I said, I'm just kind of burnt out on the whole lavender thing. I feel like every couple of collections, Aldi is putting out a lavender scent and I just need something a little bit more unique. I feel like with them putting out the cherry limeade fizz and the strawberry shortcake, that's a little bit different. That's a little bit far out for Aldi, which I appreciate because I buy their candles regularly. I want to see different things. So number three is going to be sea salt and lavender. Number two, even though I'm not a coconut girl, I'm going to go ahead and throw Bally Surf in there. And that's only because I'm tired of the lavender. Otherwise, Bally Surf would have been in the number three place. Very one noted creamy coconut smell. Like I said, no pineapple, no mango, no other tropical scents in there. Throw some rum in there. Make this a tropical cocktail smelling candle. I feel like that one was a little bit lackluster. So number one, that leaves one candle and I think that this is going to be the hot candle I think a lot of people are going to be after. The strawberry shortcake. The strawberry shortcake truly is the superstar in this collection. I did grab two of the strawberry shortcakes. I probably would have bought more, but I would have probably had to dig for them. And there was probably only one or two more left in the box. And I just didn't want to be greedy because I know there are many people that wait till release day to go in and get these candles. And I didn't want to be the person that just took all the strawberry shortcake candles. I have an abundance of candles in my collection. There are going to be future collections. So I did only take two and left some behind. But like I said, I do think that the strawberry shortcake is the showstopper in the collection. I think that it's definitely the best one of the four. So if you could only afford to buy one out of four, definitely try to get your hands on the strawberry shortcake. I do hope that Aldi has a couple more summer releases up their sleeve. I love how affordable these candles are and I do enjoy reviewing them for you guys. 
So all in all, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Thank you for watching and bye everyone.